Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss how to solve the splay tree insertion problem. Now they have given the list of elements. I must insert them in the splay tree. First, let's insert 15. At the first step, to insert 15, we are inserting only one element, so it will be like this only. Next, let's insert 10. So 15 is already there. Then I must insert a 10. So first I will check with the 15. Whether 10 is less than 15 or more than 15. If it is less than 15, I will write towards the left. That is, I will make it as the left side. Or if it is more than 15, I will make it as the right side. Now if you see, 10 is less than 15. So same like the binary tree, what we will be doing? We will be inserting it into the left chain. So 10 will be here. Now, in the splay tree insertion, you, there will be a concept called the splaying operation. Splaying operation. So what this playing operation tells is, make the node that you inserted. Now I inserted 10 now. The node that you have inserted must be the root node. Now I must make this 10 as the root node. Because now I inserted 10 now, I must make it as the root node. Here only one element was inserted, that was only the root. Now here we are having two elements. I now inserted 10, now I must make it as the root node. I don't want to confuse it with the zig rotation, zag rotation and all. So step by step, you must make it as the root node. Now we exchange with the 15 or swap it with the 15. Since we are having only two elements, just swap. So 10 will be here. Next, another one element left is 15. 15 is greater than 10. Now, without zig rotation, zag rotation and all, you have converted the node that you have inserted into the root node. Then compare it with the other element and write it where the child will come. Here 15 was greater than 10, so I wrote it to the right side. Now I must insert 17, 10 and 15 are already there. 10 and 15 are already there. So you, might, you will make it like this. Step number 1. This is step number 2. So these both are step number 2. Now we are going with the step number 3. Step number 3. Now I must insert 17. 17 is greater than 10, greater than 15. So it will come to the right of the 15. Now I must make the node that I have inserted. That is 17 as the root node. How I will make? I will make it level by level. First I will bring it here. Next I will bring it here. Like that. So how we will make? So 10 will be same. I must exchange 17 and 15. So if I exchange 17, only one element is left that is 15. Now I will check it. Whether it is less than 17 or greater than 17. 15 is less than 17. So I will write it to the left. Still this process is not completed because 17 is here. I must make it as the root node. So what I will be doing? So I will be exchanging 17 and 10. So 17 will go here and I will check whether 10 is less than 17 or greater than 17. 10 is less than 17. So it will come towards the left side. Then only one element is there 15. 15 is less than 17 but greater than 10. So it will come towards right side. Now the third step is done. We have inserted the three elements. Now let's move with the step number four. Now I want to insert 7. Just copy the last tree. 17 was there, 10 was there and 15 was there. Now I want to insert 7. 7 is less than 17 and less than 10 also. So I will write it to the left. Now I must make this node that is inserted node as the root node. So what I will be doing? I will be going one level upside. So I will exchange 10 and 7. I will exchange 10 and 7. So what will be the step? 17 will be same. So 7 will be exchanged with the 10. Now I will compare 10 and 15. So if you see 10 is greater than 7. So it will be right side. Next 15. 15 is less than 17, greater than 7, greater than 10. So it will be right side. 
Now we are concluded. Now seven is here, and I must make it as the root one. So what I will be doing? I will be exchanging seven and seventeen. So seven will go here, and seventeen is greater than seven, so it will move towards the right side. So direct connection is there now. So direct connection only you must send that side. Now we are left with ten and fifteen. So which one you should choose means you must choose the parent first, then the child. First you must choose parent, then the child. So ten is greater than seven and less than seventeen. So ten will come here. Next fifteen. So fifteen is less than seventeen but greater than ten. So fifteen will be here. Now we are completed with the fourth step that we inserted seven. Now move next insert thirteen. So just copy the last two three. Step number five. So seven is there. Seventeen. Next it is ten, and this is fifteen. I want to insert thirteen. It is greater than seven. It is less than seventeen. It is greater than ten, but less than fifteen. So you will be writing here. Now I must make the inserted value that is thirteen as the root node. So we will make level by level. So I will replace fifteen and thirteen. That is, I will swap them. So seven will be same. Seventeen will be same. Ten will be same. So fifteen will be replaced with thirteen. And now I will compare the fifteen. So fifteen is greater than thirteen. So I will write to the right side. Now. My inserted node is thirteen. I must make it as the root node. So level by level. So I will swap it with the ten. Seven will be same. Seventeen will be same. Next, I will be swapping thirteen with the ten. So thirteen will come here. And if you see, ten is less than thirteen, so it will go to the left. And fifteen is greater than thirteen, so it will go to the right. Now thirteen is here. Now I must make it as the root node. I will move one level up say that is replace with the seventy. Seven will be same, and in the place of seventeen, thirteen will be coming. So we will make first. We will see the parent from the upside. Which are the element coming? Then we will come to the child one. Like that, you will must be coming. So first I will see the seventy because seven and thirteen are inserted. First I will see seventy. So seventeen is greater than thirteen, so it will come to the right. Next, if you count ten and fifteen are at the same level, ten and fifteen are at the same level. What you must be doing? You must be going from the left side towards the right side. Same like the binary tree. So from upside to downside, left side to right side, upside to downside, left side to right right side, like that. Next, ten. You if you compare, it is greater than seven but less than thirteen. So ten will come here. Next, fifteen. It is greater than thirteen but less than seventeen. So fifteen will come here. Simple. So what you must make upside to downside, left side to right side. So if you see that like, then you can solve this planetary insertion without any zig rotation, zag rotation, and all. Now thirteen is here. I must make it as the root node. So thirteen I will replace with the seven. So thirteen I will replace with the seven. From upside to downside, left side to right. So first I will compare seven. So seven is less than thirteen. So I will write to the left. Next. 10 and 17 are at the same level because 10 and 17 are the child of 13 so if you see from left to right for 10 will come first the 10 is less than 13 but greater than 7 so 10 will come here next 17 so it is greater than 13 next we are having 15 greater than 13 but less than 17 simple now we have made the inserted node as the root node Now we are completed with the step number five. I must insert only sixteen. So sixteen is the only value that we want to insert. So at the last step of the step number five, what we were left out with only this tree. That is thirteen, seventeen, and fifteen, seven, and ten. Now I will apply the split tree insertion. So sixteen must be inserted. It is greater than thirteen, but less than seventeen, but greater than fifteen. So right side. Greater means right, lesser means left side. Now I must make this as the root node. So first I will go one level upside. That is exchange with fifteen. So thirteen will be same, seven will be same, and ten will be same. 
So 17 will also be same because we are exchanging these two. So 16 will come here. We are left with only one element to insert that is 15. So 15 is less than 16 so it will come towards the left side. Now my inserted node is here. I must make it as the root node. I will exchange with the one level upside. That is 13 will be same. 7 will be same. If you are inserting in the right subtree, left subtree will be same. So here I, will, I am changing only in the right subtree. Because it is in the right subtree, left subtree will be same. Next it will be 10. So here I am exchanging with the 17. So 16 will come here. We are left with 17 and 15. What I said? Upside to downside, left side to right side. So upside to downside means 17. So 17 is greater than 16. Next 15. 15 is less than 16. Now, my 16 that is the inserted node is here. I must make it as the root node. So I will exchange it with the 13. So if I exchange it with the 13, 16 will come here. Now, Upside to downside, left side to right. First element is 13. 13 is less than 16. So left side. Next, 7. If you see 16 only you replace it. So 7. So 7 is less than 16. Less than 16, less than 13. So 7 will come here. Next, these three are all in the same level. Because these uh, 10 is the child of 7. 16 is... 10, 15, 17 are in the same level. So, left to right, first 10, 10 is less than 16, less than 13, but greater than 7. So, 10 will come here. Next, 15. So, 15 is less than 16, but greater than 13. Next, 17. So, 17 is greater than 16. Now, this is the play tree inserted tree for the given list of elements. So, what you must do? You must insert the value. Insert the value by comparing the value. If it is greater than the value, right side. If it is less than the value, left side. Then, you must apply the play operation. What is play operation? Making the node that you have inserted as the root node. How you will make? First, you will replace one level, one level upside. One level, again one level, again one level like that. And then compare from upside to downside, left side to right side. Like that, if you compare the values and insert the values, then you will get the complete answer. Hope you understood the concept of the split tree insertion. In next video, let's discuss about the split tree deletion because the video length will be lengthy. So I kept it for the next video. So it is also simple. Only three cases will be there for the deletion of the split tree. So I will discuss it there. Thank you.